I pretty much set out all the materials before you right here and that way we have our books that we're going to use here's my spirit book and here is my sketchbook for all my creations and designs and actually I get these from Walmart um, the larger one was about seven dollars and ninety seven cents around eight dollars or something and my smaller book um, was actually about two dollars and something and I only like these books because they're simple black and I pretty much have a blank canvas of what I can do with my books because I really don't like books that are covered um, because I like to kind of be creative with the covers of my books and kind of put my own touches to them so if they're laying around the house um, it will kind of look kind of chic and elegant and uh, fashionable at the same time if I just lay them out around randomly and stuff like that so that's why I like to decorate my own books and have like kind of either they're either black or I have them as white um, or maybe like a new pink or pale pink or something like that um, so yeah I have those and then we have um, my little jewels that I'm going to use for my larger sketchbook and I went with this like minty color um, mixed with white and I kind of tried to keep all the beads and um, buttons and things like that the findings kind of similar in touch so that way they can be kind of cohesive so yeah I really like them um, for this one I also put together the pink ones and this one more like a, a, a nude pink, uh, I won't really say it's pale, but it's more like a matte finish or something like that. And yeah, so these right here, I want to take out before you right now because I really like them and I create beads um, also. And these are the beads that I make for other things that I have and these are like my own little creations and stuff. And um they're really made from scratch sorry about my nails guys I really need to get paint them over and I had a lot going on this weekend was my daughter's birthday so yay and so yeah I made these kind of bees and this is mostly um, the designs of my jewelry and stuff like that so I use the just to incorporate because everything will be expressive of of course pretty minimalist and I also use e6000 for my larger jewels that way they stay didn't put this in the frame but I also use tacky glue for maybe like the little bees the um, little pearls or my glass pebbles stuff like that that way it can stick and last long but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use the e6000 for that but yeah this is good this is good I buy this from Hobby Lobby for what 327 so you get a big bottle for that also I like to use this nail hole patch stuff because inside of these white beads right here you'll see that they have like these little oh my nails look horrible um, but they have these little like holes right there and so I want to kind of fill those in so that way it won't be just looking you know sloppy and stuff so I wanted that to kind of look put together and I use these little prongs here I don't know if we can so way I can pick up the bees and place them where I want them and also I didn't also put this in the frame but I have like a sketch of the designs that I put together I already placed them on each book and I just sketched them out just doodling that's all you have to do doodle 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 and you can you know put it together but this is for my smaller book and this is the placement for my larger book and this is another one that I'm going to be doing a little bit later with my tassels. So maybe I'll either get it on this video or I may get it on another video. But right now we're just going to do the two books at the same time. And yeah, so let's get started.
a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Um, until then, we'll see you guys later, all you ladies and daughters out there and who likes creativity and crafts and all that pretty and minimalist things. Um, yeah, so tune in into another video. Hopefully we can get one back to you as soon as possible. But until then, just leave a comment down below for any suggestions that you may have or any videos you want to see in the future. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye now. Bye.